All right, BuckeyeHuddle.com, back in Ohio here in Cincinnati after a long trip south. Uh, great 7-on-7 seven -seven here tonight at Fairfield. Here's a name people need to know in 2025 in Ohio. This is Cincinnati Withrow wide receiver, Quentin Simmons. Uh, everyone knows uh, about Chris Henry Jr., the 26, but, but Quentin is uh, maybe the star of the 7-on-7 seven -seven tonight. Had a, had a monster performance. Quentin, uh, how to feel to get out there? You guys haven't been able to do this in years past at the end of May. It's been uh, normally reserved for maybe weightlifting or something, but uh, out here you get to do seven on sevens. How is how to go? It was good. I feel like us being able to do seven on seven as early as preparing us and getting us more ready for the season. What is it like lining up with you and Chris? That's got to make everyone's life a little bit easier for you guys. <laughs> no one, you're not going to see a lot of double teams, either one of you, I don't think. So, yes, sir. With the, uh, we, uh, me and Chris, we the top receivers, but our whole receiver core loaded. Yeah. Problems there, we're on the field at Withrow. Every are, defense going to have a problem. Yes, I, I would agree. <laughs> are, are you uh, running track? Right uh, yes, sir. My, uh, I had something happen, got injured. Uh, gotcha. Um, what were some of your better time? I know you're you're a big time speed guy. I mean, what are some of your best track times so far for people who don't know? At, uh, this year, when Woods tracked me, I ran a ten seven six, open one hundred. So that was most probably that was the best time actually. Ten seven six, and that's this. I mean, this is your sophomore track season technically. Right. I mean, everyone's considering you a rising junior in football. This is your sophomore track season. So that's super impressive. What do you know? Obviously, your speed's impressive, but you know what are some other things I think you know that kind of make your game um, one that's got some Division One colleges interested in you? Um, I'm competitive. I'm gonna go up and catch the ball you know, aggressively. I'm gonna catch the ball possession. Um, uh, what do you have so far? <laughs> you got you got some offers, right? Yes, About how many do you have at this point, uh, roughly? Sixteen D1 offers. Okay. Uh, what are some of maybe the top offers you have, or some schools that maybe stood out to you so far? Uh, Michigan, Penn State, nice. UC, Kentucky, like that. So more like that. Impressive list. Uh, yes, did you visit anywhere this spring? Uh, yeah, I visited UC, Kentucky, Ohio State, Penn State, um, Tennessee, Georgia. I think that's it. So you got around pretty good. What did you think of Ohio State? Would you get there for practice? Uh, yes, sir. Practice up there is great. They're competitive, loud, energized. It's great up at Ohio State. Uh, Big Ten East rival there, Penn State. Uh, they've offered you visited. What, did you, what do you think about Penn State so far? Penn State, I, I actually love Penn State. Penn State is a good, good place to be. Coaching good out there. They're competitive too. So. What's Ohio State telling you right now? Obviously, um, their receiver room, uh, their receiver recruiting has been very strong the last few several years. Uh, I know they're watching you, but you know what have they kind of told you? Is are they waiting for junior film? They want to see you at camp this summer, or kind of what are they doing? I'm not really sure on that. Uh, I think they be talking to Coach Jones. It ain't a lot that he tell me, bro. Gotcha. Uh, do you maybe plan on camping there this summer? I think Chris is going up, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I want Chris going up. I'm most likely going up. Okay. It's like a group thing. Me, yep. Chris, and Ryan, we go very well together. Gotcha. So we'll probably see you at Ohio State in June. Yes, sir. Um, what are you looking for to school? Like you're just getting this kind of started with the recruiting process, but you're just, you know you're going on some visits now. What what are you checking out and kind of what's important to you? I'm checking out how practice go, how competitive it is, how how, how the energy is. Yes, and uh, what are some of your goals here for your upcoming season? Because I know you had a good sophomore year, but I think uh, you may be primed for a even bigger junior year. Yes, sir. More touchdowns, more yards. More returns, most definitely on kick return. Coach threw out a name that I don't think you throw out lightly <laughs> with you. You already know where I'm going. I didn't, we did not pre, I did not prep him on this. I think he already knows what I'm about to say. Ted Ginn Jr. Ted Ginn Jr. Uh, that is uh, that's football royalty in the state of Ohio, my friend. Uh, what uh, what 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 do you what do you hear that? What do you think? Coach Jones, he compared me to a lot of different people. But Ted Ginn Jr., I think that's because the kick return part. I'm going to return the ball. When the ball hit my hands, it's going to the other side of the field. Is that why number seven? It's number seven. Uh, number seven. I grew up wearing number seven my whole life. Okay. Number seven, that's where it all started. Okay. All right, man. Well, we appreciate your time this evening and great job tonight, and we'll be seeing you soon. Yes, sir.